While I was studying, I shouldn't, I shouldn't make any mistakes. You know, sometimes people ask questions, and uh, if you make a mistake, it's, it comes along with terrible consequences. So you ask for a bracha. That's bichni sasoi. As you enter shul, bichni sasoi. After you finish studying, and you're leaving to do your job, which many people have, so it says you wait. You say, you say oh, hey, no, thank you, Hashem. What the thank you? You thank you, thank Hashem. Shasam techelki always. Thanks Hashem for putting me amongst the people that study Torah, and you didn't put me amongst the people who hang out in the pubs, hang out the Yoshevay Kronis. Now the question is obvious. You didn't balance out. When you went into shul, when you went into pray, you say, please, Hashem, help me that I don't make a mistake in my studying. When you're leaving studying, and you're about to face the, the, the world, and you're an accountant, and you're a doctor, why don't you ask, Hashem, please give me the whereabouts not to funk in my job. I'm going to do my daily job. I need, your, I need you, to, you, to, you to be there, too. Instead of saying that, you say, oh, thank you, Hashem, that you placed, placed me amongst the Yeshua Yahalis, those who study Torah, and not just those who, have, who do nothing. Where's the balance? Perhaps this is where you have a tremendous lesson in life. A person who studies Torah, who is a Yeshiv oil, he can be an accountant, he can be a doctor, he can be a lawyer. If he makes the Torah study, his etzem, his messias, his essence of his life, when he leaves, it's still, even while he's doing the numbers, even while he's performing the surgery, he's still a Yoshev He's still a, someone who's living with his Torah life, Torah learning in the morning. And therefore, yes, if you, keep, you live your life of Torah, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not going to flow, because I have Hashem as my protection. Now, uh, Rabbi Chol spoke about learning with Rabbi uh, Friedman 5.30 in the morning. I can tell you the other man. The other end is he would come to a shear twice a week, knocked out. Is that I, I was blame Rabbi Friedman? Because my shear was in the evening, twice a week. And Minnesota time, I think in Europe, when we were studying, eight nine. And I could, I could usually, when I'm sitting in below zero weather, I can usually tell you what the weather is there by the way he's sitting by the shear. <laughs> it's schwitzing, and, and it was again the light of rush. How he's sitting there like this in front of me. But the fact is, I, I, could, I saw every night, twice a week, when we had a shear. I saw a man who, who uh, yeah, I know that he woke up and studied because I can tell you from what the, the end product is. And I know that he's sitting here by this year. So he was pushing, in between, got sandwiched in a couple of tax, tax papers or something. Not that year, I don't know what he did. <laughs> but he says he went to work. But, but his Metsias was in the morning was learning with Blake Reverend Freeman from my evening learning myself. That's, that's a perfect world. Somebody mentioned, I think it was you, somebody mentioned that the true way to be happy is by studying a prayer. And Yidiyeh, as the Mishnah, Eim Lachav Ben Chayrin, El Amisha Yisri Ben Chayrin, the Mishnah says, the true, true uh, three persons is one who studies prayer. Now the question is obvious. The question is, is that the true free person? The more you learn, don't do this, don't do that. It's a bunch of restrictions. So the answer, which is the famous answer that's given Rabbi Feldman, I have to get myself an extension. <laughs> <laughs> the answer, I forgot. The answer, the famous answer which is given, as long as you uh, study Torah, you're living your life. You're living what you really want to be. If you're not studying Torah, you're a copycat. You're wearing this type of thing. My kids make fun of my clothing. Oh, cheap clothing. Why do I have to wear what somebody else, what, what somebody else says is style? That's copying. What some guy in, in, in France decided is the style. If you live a Torah life, you live your free life. You are who you are. You are what Torah is. You're not copycatting anybody. You're just doing what the right thing is to be done. And there is a famous Rabbi Feldman. There's a famous uh, <laughs> statement. Rabbi who? Oh. There's another Rabbi Feldman back there. <laughs> and by the way, Pat, I had the honor to learn with this. This Rabbi Feldman also joins for a little until uh, until. <laughs> but this is what we've been talking about tonight. <laughs> All right, there's a very beautiful chat that, that, that spices this up. As I'll tell us, when David was going to give us the tarot, the Marmashab says, 
Hashem took a mountain, put it over like a barrel over Klal Yisrael, and said, guys, in the Kabbalah Masa Torah, if you take the Torah, Muta, all is well. And in Lav, if you guys decide not to take the Torah, show to hate Baras. You'll be buried up a plopping the mountain. Now the wording is questionable. The, the, the proper dictum should seem to be, Hoi to hate Baras. I dropped the mountain, and you're buried. The Gemara's Lushan is, Sham to hate Baras. Over there you'll be buried. What is this all about? But the answer is the same thing. When you learn Torah, you learn to be happy, wherever you are. So the David says, in the Kabbalah is a Torah, if you get the Torah Muta, but all is going to be God, you're going to be happy under any such a situation. In invention, you say, Dersh Hashem, Lo Those who search, those who are on the path of searching Hashem, don't, don't miss anything. They, they have everything. Super Bowl, Super Bowl, they have it all. <laughs> However, if you don't take Torah, you're going to have a Rahman al God forbid, a disease that's called Shum. You know, I wish I had that guy's Lamborghini. I wish I lived in the Bell Harbor. It's always somewhere else. You're chasing always somewhere else. You're not happy with what you have. The disease is Shum. And our learning Torah tells us you are free with what you have. Be happy with what you have because you are connected to the old.